Okay, let's learn three or four new things. First, how to use a new set of tools for Terrain Mixer. Second, how to make a printable 3D object. Third, how to print it. And four, how to make multiple copies of it. Yes, you heard it right. We're gonna make a terrain, print it with a 3D printer, frozen resin 3D printer, and then we're gonna make mold for it and make some copies. So if I open Blender, Blender 4.0, 4 uh, just a simple Blender file, nothing special here. And first thing I wanna show you is how easy it is to work with the new tools for Terrain Mixer, or I like to call it a new version of Terrain Mixer, although technically it's not, but you'll see what I'm talking about. We have a blank uh, 3D space here, only a cube of course, and we can leave a cube because uh, it will make sense in a few seconds, you'll see why. So let's just see how we have uh, prepare the data here. If you go to the edit preferences and uh, go all the way down to the file paths, you'll see the default user library and that's all we need because what I did, I just copied all the important Blender files that we're going to use and placed it right there in default user library. You can see the path here. So if I open it, you will see Blender Assets and the folder Terrain Mixer. I didn't copy uh, two Terrain Mixer files that you all know and have been using so far. I just copied Assets and inside the Assets folder I copied Categories, Files, then the Erosion Packs because we need them to use them with the new tool and that's uh, teenage Mutant, uh, sorry, Terrain Mixer Node Tools, which are placed here. And so if I close this and I go to the Assets window here, Assets Browser, you will see a bunch of tools here, bunch of modifiers, Geometry Node modifiers, and of course we don't need the default uh, hair modifiers, we just need something that is currently unassigned and this is it. As you can see it is not categorized but we can change that. If we go back here to the preferences and click here and go a bit deeper inside to the terrain mixer assets and now press accept, we will see now that we have this TMNT category and the subcategories. Uh, these are the default terrain mixer categories, but there's nothing here because we didn't copy it. So, and we don't need it actually. We just need these. So let's go fast through it. We have mask nodes, mixer nodes, object nodes, power nodes, surface nodes, terrain nodes, terrain objects, terrain templates, and terrain tools. Now, let me show you the surface nodes and uh, power nodes. Uh, they're kind of similar and to be honest they could have been one category but I decided to uh, separate them because uh, I will show you later how I use uh, some of them but uh, first of all I separated them because I didn't want to have too many uh, modifiers, too many tools in one category. Second, I use them a bit differently, so I hope you will see and understand why. They are here close to each other, so I think there won't be any problems for you remembering where they are and what to do with them. First, let's see what we can do uh, with this cube. Uh, before I do that, of course, I will just change some parameters here for the view and that's the clip start, I'll set it to one meter and then the clip end, I'll set it to million meters just to avoid the clipping because you know the terrains are pretty big and now we have this uh, uh, this cube here and if we go to the terrain tools you'll see there's a terrain 2000 meters uh, and if we go to the edit mode you see the MNT drop down here and if I choose uh, 2000 meters here, we get a 2000 meter terrain. We can unwrap this terrain 
so we get UVs which we need and then we can use this terrain templates which is just a modifier and drag and drop it here and if I open the geometry nodes window you will see that this is the setup for your terrain so from this point on you can uh, you know go to terrain nodes and drag this terrain here uh, replace this group plug this here and then this here and you have <coughs> your terrain it's that simple now we could also do the same by just using the predefined terrain object that's the one here so if we put it here you see almost the same thing going on now why is this the same well because they're using the same modifier which was this one here you see if we change it here so the boat will change but of course what you can do is go to the modifiers list and make this a unique modifier for this object we can choose this one and just click here it says click to make a single user copy and that's what we'll do if we remove this group you'll see that only one will change and that's it that's all there is to it now let's move forward i cheated a little as you can see here is another category subcategory cameras and i will need this a bit later now let's move on here we have terrain objects as you know we have seen what this one does but now let's check this one named terrain base i'll hide this terrain simple and this terrain called cube let's drag and drop this one and right away i will set it to live in the center of the world as well as this beautiful object that comes with it and i will also hide this beautiful object so here we have a different kind of terrain template object it's different than the base simple because it has some predefined controls so you don't have to build it from the scratch now going from the top to the bottom you can see uh, something that's related to the render quality so if i disable it i will be able to render at a higher quality if i enable it i will be able to render it, render it at a preview quality now this is why i need those uh, cameras if i drag and drop this camera i will get both empty and the camera and if i drag and drop this camera I will get empty and the camera so if I place this empty at the center of the world and set rotation at zero and if I select this camera now and press zero I'll be able to see my terrain through the camera you can uh, bring camera closer to you and then press here and do your adjustments and uh, now if we render we don't see anything because we have no light we still have to set the world light and we'll do that now so world material you see it here shift a texture and go to the sky texture color let's enable the viewport shading and you see the terrain now we can adjust the terrain material so let's go to object material here you are now we can lower down the light strength so the environment strength so 0.5 maybe okay this should work so if i render it now with f12 i still get the darkness and i know why that is that's because my object was not enabled for render now we're gonna see it so as i mentioned before you see there's the preview quality of this terrain now if i go here and uncheck this checkbox and press f12 we're going to render the higher quality uh, terrain with more resolution so let's just wait a bit here it is okay moving forward here you can set the render quality you can increase it a bit or decrease it you can also uh, increase or decrease uh, uh, the preview quality like so down there you have the thickness switch you can also set the 
thickness to your liking so for example this then you also have this guest object and that's what we saw when i dragged the, the object to the scene it was this skull base object and uh, for example if i enable it here it's a scary skull now you can control it uh, size translation rotation here you can also review it without the effect of the terrain also uh, there's this guest object smooth sharp uh, switch let's call it that way so if you want your object to have smoother effect on the terrain here's how we do it so let's set it to one and let's just do a preview render so oh yeah i forgot to press zero to view it through the camera and also to orientate it better and also to disable this switch so let's render it now and we'll see how it affects uh, the terrain in its final render quality and of course you can bring any other object here so uh, of course make it look, look a lot better now here you also have some other parameters to play with you can also dig it into the ground something like this let's just uh, scale the terrain like so okay now can we, we can do another test render okay that's a bit better 